Hey YouTube, as promised, the uh, ramp pump design. Actually, I don't have a bipod, so I welded all the stuff together and I thought I'll show you what I did exactly step by step. And afterwards, I'll show the assembly quickly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the sizes of this thing. Alright, so size is. Thirty four centimeters. So, what I did was I actually bought this out of the scrap yard from the scrap yard. It's just a normal T piece, and I didn't put this in it, was with the T piece. So, basically, what I did was I my pipes that I have at the moment at the pit where the water is is actually this size. So, I bought this piece also from the scrap yard and just weld it to this TPC here. So I didn't use bolts or kind of stuff like that and reduce it. Otherwise it would have cost me a lot of money. So as you can see it's just a piece that I added to the TPC, uh, basically extension. Then what I did was I welded a 90 degree bend, same size as that uh, backside from this pump. Sorry for my English, I'm not actually English speaking so I'm trying my best. So, 90 degree angle, so you can see it's kind of water, uh, water level, uh, flash, whatever you call it. And all that is basically, this is basically the design of the pump. So let me just show you inside, there's no valves and kind of stuff like that. It's just a normal straight through pipe assembly. You can see there's the, the light on the other side. No valves or springs or anything like that. Here. I put my phone in here. Basically, that's all what it is. And now, this is all an old fire extinguisher tank that I actually welded just an extension to fit on that end space there. So, and of course, I made a hole straight through with the welders. So, I just welded this and add this for you know, to adjust the flow. And this comes in between, so basically just a non-return valve. You can see, it's a non-return valve that actually fits on just here. Let me show you quickly. There. Basically just fits on there. And when this fixes and when the ram starts to pump and actually this opens up and closes. But one thing I must tell you to remember is that you need to drill a small, I don't know if you can see, yeah, put it in this nail here, you need to drill a small hole here, as close as possible to the non-return valve to get actually a breathing effect, otherwise your pump may run for three hours and then go to a stand and then you need to bleed it again. So. If you drill this hole, it keeps on letting air inside, just a small hole, and it runs non-stop, 24-7. And of course, on top of this goes the tank. And that's basically it. Now for the business part, it's this, the ram. The valve that eats, the actually that makes the noise, and it's this piece here that I, that I build. It's just the end flange. Oh man, it's heavy. And it fits on here and I need to adjust the seal. So it fits on here. Let me show you quickly the break the walkthrough of this. Okay. So basically it's all what it is. It's actually just two steel pieces of steel that actually um, slice together. So this doesn't do actually any work, this is just a guide. So it has no hammering effect, it's just a guide. So if you're building your own, you don't need to do heavy construction on the guide system. But I do recommend for the heating effect, use as thick as possible steel to blank it off. So, and I use this rubber seal to dampen the noise and I have a watertight seal. So, as you can see, I still need to weld this on. So basically, it seals flat, flush to this thing. 
it doesn't do at the moment, but um, after I'm fit in the seal, I'm doing it with one hand. Just hold quickly. Okay, I've set the seal now, so if you can see it, it seals flush. You can see here, it's still flush and the rubber, but I still need to align the holes. I should have got a back injury, so I'm not allowed to pick heavy stuff up. But um, I'll show you quickly the one of the designs thing. Stuff that I found it out is that okay. when building your ramp up, the main valve it shouldn't go beyond the water level. If you can see, I don't want the water to pass overhead of the valve. So basically, the valve must be quite there, just on top. So the water must just flow under it. Otherwise, it won't pump. So that's basically it. I'll do the next video. The I'm not going to assemble it, so I'm going to have one of my guys assemble it, and then I'll show you the assembly video, and then afterwards I'll show you a video of the two pumps pumping together and the amount of water that I'm getting. As you can see, it's no sun. The rain is coming again. It's still flood season, and after that, I would like to show you the guys. The other project I'm working on, I'm basically going to do a water wheel in the river and pump the thunder, pump my whole land from water. So I'm basically going to do a water wheel pump, not the kind that uses pipes and stuff, that actually uses a normal monosem centrifugal pump. So I'm going to gear it up. Well, first of all, before I build it, I'm going to post you the scenery on YouTube and then ask you guys for questions and stuff and your design ideas, so we'll make it a group effort. If you have any questions, until now, until the next video, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll assist you as I can. So, let me just put on the, the can. Let me see if I can and then I'll show you the video again. And that's basically the pump. So, this is the ram effect. Still need to weld the end so it doesn't come loose. So this will do this all the time. When it does that, the non-return will open and flood until I think it's about one bar. And then I'll, I'll open this and the water will come out. So that's basically just two moving parts and you have your own water for free. No cost and just remember to Drill a small hole for the for the air to come in. You can see there, it's very small. Don't too big, otherwise you lose pressure. Very small hole. And that's basically it, people. Thank you for watching my videos. Really do appreciate it. And share your links on my my video and your own designs and stuff like that. Again, thank you for watching.